Christiana Hurt, owner and founder of Lovey College Kid. Yeah. Anyway, so today I'm gonna be talking about how did I build my following? How do I get all these live viewers? What do I talk about on live? And how do I keep people on my Facebook lives as long as that I do? Because I do talk about nothing sometimes. <laughs> One, when you're doing a Facebook Live, you always want to do a shocking statement or a hard income um, hard income claim. This always draws viewers into your live and then it's your job to obviously keep them there. Never ever be alarmed by not having anybody watching you. Like on God, two years ago I had four viewers, a year ago I had 20 viewers, today I probably have over 100 live viewers for a good solid 45 minutes. But it wasn't always like that, but I stayed consistent and I stayed talking. You guys have to remember that it is a live stream and it is not a recorded video, so you will make mistakes. Don't feel like everybody's going to drag you over your mistakes. They won't. It actually really helps people relate to you in a sense, as well as being really, really animated. And as well, another thing that you really, really want to do is look presentable, yo. Some of you guys get on Facebook Live, get on Instagram Live, get on a live stream in general, and you guys look like trash. Like, do your makeup, brush your hair, look presentable, especially if you're on a live stream for a business sense. Another thing is do not be shy. Do not make it feel uncomfortable because when your viewers are bored and they're going to do what I do is just click out. You have to remember that it's a live stream, so people are there to engage with you. You want to ask questions. You want to make jokes. You want to really engage with your audience. That way they're not clicking out of your live. A lot of lives... Uh, struggle with keeping consistent viewers for a long period of time because they're so boring like they're just like dry as hell when they're giving information and I understand 100% you want to be value filled you want to be professional but yo not don't become a college class on the internet like a lot of us have to watch seminars all the time and we do not want to watch another one on our timeline so try to keep that in the back of your mind when making a live stream that you know you want to be entertaining you want to be lively you want to ask questions make jokes talk about the weather talk about your life cook on live a really really great thing that you guys can do to get live viewers is to cook people love watching food I know I do. I always want to see what it looks like at the end so it causes me to obviously stay in the live or stay in the stream until the live is over. Another great thing is doing your makeup while talking, getting ready while talking because people once again want to see that finished product. Um, I always feel like lives in the car convert better just because you are driving and people get a little hesitant and a little on edge because you are driving while talking so they're always worried that you will crash so it causes them to stay in the live but please make sure you do have a phone holder that attaches to your dash before going live and obviously doing a live stream while driving. Um, I've done plenty of them and I will tell you I have almost crashed and died because of it. I've done them in the rain, I've done them at night, I've just, I've done them all the time. Like, I will always live, I will say that. Another thing that you wanna do is always have a single call to action. A call to action can be a link or a direction that you want those people to go into when they're watching the live. Make sure you pin it in your description, pin it in your title, as well as the comments. You wanna have it in three different locations, all repetitive and all the same. Now, the reason that we do not have a lot of links or a lot of different things in our live videos is because people are only gonna click on one thing because it will open up a new window causing them to leave the live. So you do not wanna confuse them or overwhelm them by putting a bunch of links or asking them to do multiple things at a time. Make sure you're asking people to maybe comment down below a one, two, three, or five if they're listening so you know that they are paying attention to you and it helps you understand what they are engaging to and what they do not care about. This can be really, really helpful when you're just starting out. Don't be afraid to take notes, you know, try to have an agenda. Make sure you have a topic that you want to stay on. If the audience gears or sways that, that um, topic to another topic, roll with it. You don't ever have to stay in one spot. Um, it is live, so try to just be yourself. Be animated. I do a lot of this, that, the third, but I know a lot of people talk about my alter ego. I don't think I have an alter ego, bitch. I really don't, but I just be over here living my best motherfucker. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? But it's really, really important to just, you know, keep that same energy, um, be upbeat, be hype, because people do not want to watch boring people. You know, we watch reality TV because they fight and it's cool and it's, I mean, I watch it to see fights. I think it's cool and entertaining as hell. 
So, you know, people are watching you to entertain them as well as learning something new, especially if you're doing a business pitch. It can be really, really beneficial if you have masses of people on your live stream because then they're showing that unity and then more and more people are wanting to sign up for your product, your course, or your seminar, or follow you on another social media. And it's helping grow that brand even more and more and stay consistent. Don't change the name of your brand. Don't try to make drastic changes to what you call yourself or the links or what you're promoting. Try to promote one thing for at least 90 days before moving to another one. Um, I, for one, have never changed what I promote. I'll be real with you. Like, I've been the same since year one and I'll probably be the same in year five. Like, I just keep growing and growing and growing the same things and it's just gotten God knows how big. You feel me? <laughs> But that's it for this video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you don't think I'm a corny ass bitch. You feel me? <laughs> Bye, guys.